everybody. It is Wednesday and I am on my wellness journey. So I'm with you every Wednesday and Saturday with a new video. If you are new to this channel, my name is Lisa. Welcome. So I'm in my car today. I typically don't record in my car, but my daughter is going to high school this year. So she's doing a tour of the high school, which is very exciting for her. Um, I was embarrassing her earlier doing the Nighthawk squawk that I'm practicing for sporting events. Um, I'm the embarrassing mom, obviously. <laughs> uh, so anyway, my wellness check-in on Wednesday. I had a good week. I feel good. Um, I don't usually talk about me getting on the scale, but I did get on the scale this morning. I was up 0.8, which I'm still within my goal range of where I want to be. I feel good about that. 0.8 for me, I just feel like it's staying the same. Um, and the reason I'm mentioning my weight this week is because I've really been changing up my activity the last couple weeks, going from more cardio type training um, or exercise to doing some more strength exercises because I really want to kind of tone up feel like I'm getting stronger. Um, the doctors that I've talked to about the arthritis that I have and the bulging discs, herniated disc on my back, all talk about core strength, um, glute strength, things like that. Um, having those muscles toned really helps with um, the pain and the protection of, you know, your bones and joints and things like that. So that's what I'm working on. And I guess the reason I'm bringing up the um, scale is because I always kind of attributed the fact that I would do well on the scale when I got like my 10,000 steps or whatever it is. And so I haven't been getting that the last few weeks because instead of going for a run or instead of going for a walk or stuff like that, I go to my basement and I do um, videos off of YouTube and they're strength videos with no equipment and no repeats, which I like. I don't like repeating exercises um, for some reason. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. I'll actually link the channel that I've been using for the exercises. They are tough. I'm telling you, they're tough, but I love them. I think they're fantastic. Um, they make me feel good because I feel like I'm challenging myself, but I also feel like I don't need to kill myself either and it gives me something to work towards. So yeah, there are lots that I have to modify. Last night there was one that I just completely sat out and watched her do it. <laughs> just sitting there going, wow, look at her go. I can't do that. Um, but it gives me something to work towards. So I really feel like the more that I do this, the stronger I get, the more I'll be able to do in those videos. And then, you know, in a month's time or whatever, when I'm able to do that exercise or do a modification of the exercise, I'm going to sit back and be really proud of myself because I'll be like, yeah, a month ago, I couldn't even do that. I sat and watched her and now look how much stronger I am and how much better I'm doing. Um, so that's kind of my focus is to do what I can. Um, and again, no equipment. So just doing what I can with my own body weight and just improving and trying to do better the next time. So you'll see that I put some clips in of me actually doing the, the exercises last night. Um, my form is not great. I need to work on that absolutely had to modify. You can tell that I'm struggling. Sweat was like dripping from me. Um, I don't have a lot of upper body strength, so I'm proud of what I accomplished and I'm just going to keep working towards that. So for me, I've kept my meals essentially the same. Um, with the exception, I've been drinking G2 after my workouts because I just find um, after doing the strength training, I don't know, I feel differently. Like I sweat more. I kind of feel my heartbeat in my head. So I find the G2 with the electrolytes and stuff, it just makes me feel better after exercising like that. So that's really the only thing that I've changed um, as far as what I'm eating and things like that. Still drinking lots of water. Um, I'm still running at least once a week because I do feel like for me that cardio is important. And I think having that balance too, like so having some cardio activity that I'm doing, keep my heart healthy um, and just that movement and the stretching and things like that to kind of keep my flexibility. And then now with the addition of this strength training, I just feel like it's kind of a well-rounded um, activity week for me that I feel good about. And so I just wanted to share that with you that I I have changed my activity, but again, I'm not seeing that it's impacting the scale in a negative way. Um, 
which I know sometimes it can, especially if you're sore. If you start new activity and if you start strength training and then you're sore and you hop on the scale, you will more than likely be up in weight because when your body is repairing those torn muscles, because essentially that's what you've done when you start a new strength training, um, it's going to retain fluid and it's going to use that fluid to repair those muscles. So if you're sore and you notice you're up on the scale, don't quit the exercise. Don't quit the activity that you're doing saying, oh my gosh, I'm bulking up, I'm gaining weight. You're not. Your body's repairing itself and it's retaining fluid. That will pass. Don't worry about it. Um, check yourself, check your weight when you're not sore and I bet you'll see a difference. So have a wonderful week. Uh, take care of yourselves. Remember, we are all fabulous on this journey and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye. 30 minute video done. I didn't feel like doing it. I actually considered just cleaning up and going to bed instead, but I figured it's 30 minutes I can do it. And I really wanna do more of this strength training. Um, sometimes I had to pause, sometimes I had to modify even on my own. Uh, one exercise I kind of just sat out, but I didn't quit. I didn't give up and I am proud of myself that I did it.